What's up everybody, it's Brand. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing good out there and if you're not doing good, that's okay as well. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you with me on a few deliveries. All right, because I did some work today, but I'm about $30 shy of hitting my $200 goal. So we got 30 bucks to make. I'll bring you with me. We'll get those deliveries done. And then we're gonna head back to Walmart uh, and set up camp for the night. But I wanna show you how I stay cool in the summer. All right, so the temperature in Providence today got up to about 91 degrees. It was a hot day today. Um, but after the sun set, the temperature dropped down a good bit. It's currently about 75 degrees. And so it's much cooler, but it's still kind of humid out here. And humidity can be a bit of an issue when you're living in your car if, you, if you're not prepared, right? If, if you don't know what to do. So I'm gonna show you some things that I do to stay cool in the summer living in my car but before we do that we got to get these deliveries done all right so let's go make that money and then we'll set up camp yo you like that little walk off i just did there man where was i going i ended up in my car okay we just got an order already from grubhub uh 18 dollars 55 cents 10.4 miles let's go grab it that's a nice order Like uh, the hostesses in there are really nice, you know what I mean? It's nice to be recognized when you come through a door, you know what I mean? Always be nice to people because they, they remember that, you know? All right, let's get this delivered. Yeah, you get in there. All right, so it looks like we got ourselves about a 17 minute drive. No bother. We're just gonna cruise down the highway, get this order dropped off, and then we just need 10 more bucks after that, and then we'll go set up camp. Let's roll. All right, so um, when I got this car, it came with a six month trial of Sirius XM radio. So I'm, I've been really enjoying that. I have all the comedy channels. Um, I have just so many different channels that I can choose from. It's like having audio cable inside the car. It's pretty cool. So that's what I listen to quite a lot during the day. I listen to podcasts, uh, audio books, you know, things like that to keep me entertained while I'm out here on the road doing my deliveries. And it's, um, it's a great pastime while you're making money. But uh, we got just a few minutes to go and uh, hopefully we'll get this second order quickly so we don't have to wait around too much. Ah, oh, what the hell? Okay. All right, so that order's dropped off. We're just gonna wait in this. There's a lot of fireworks going off you can hear outside, but um, we're just gonna wait for that next order to come through. And I wanna get an order that's gonna... Let's check it out. All right, so Grubhub came through with an offer, $6, six miles. We're gonna go ahead and decline that. 
Um, and then DoorDash came through with this offer, um, $6.50 for four point something miles. We're gonna decline that also. You see, what I want is, I want an order that's $10 or more so that I can complete this night with just one order. I don't wanna do two orders. I wanna just do one order, get this night done so we can head home. Uh, but we are in Providence, it's 9.30 p.m. and uh, we should be getting an order any second now. So we just gotta wait. Two seconds later. All right, so that didn't take long at all. Check out this offer I just got from Grubhub. They're offering $11.73 for 3.5 miles. Mickey D's, let's go get it. I don't understand these people with the fireworks, man. Bang, 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 like, ah, what? Why, why, man? They're not even the nice fireworks, like the, the pretty fireworks. These are just like one-off explosions, just people blowing shit up in the backyard. Like, don't understand it. How is that relevant to Independence Day? Blowing shit up, including yourself, mind you. People like losing fingers and shit. What the fuck? All right, so we just got this little add-on, $6.23 for 0 0.4 miles. We might as well take it, guys, right? So we're gonna pick up two orders, and then I'm done. There she blows. Hopefully I can walk in here. I hope it's not a drive-through issue. All right, we got in, we got in. You want me to cancel that other one? The four, the four six six. All right, all right. So we're missing one. Uh, they didn't get one of them. One out of two. The orders didn't come through, so we're just gonna get one order. That's all right, though. All right. So when something like this happens, I have to go into the app and unassign myself from the order. So I just go to the order. I hit "There's a problem." Then I hit "I can't deliver this order." Then I hit "Reject offer." Done and dusted. Move on. So it's pretty humid and sticky out here and that McDonald's has no AC and it hasn't had AC for a while because I was in there like a week ago, still no AC and I just don't get it. I don't get how management can allow their employees to work in there day and night in this type of temperature with no AC. The conditions in there are brutal. I was in there for freaking two minutes and it was uncomfortable. They're in there all day. And I just don't understand why management can't fix that. That is bullshit right there. All right, so we got one order to deliver and I think I should still be able to hit my goal. I'll find out though, let's go. Okay, here we go. We're looking for 41. Got that order delivered. We're gonna count this money. See if we hit our goal. Hopefully we did. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. If I'm at 198, I'm going to stay out until I hit my goal. Because that's how I roll. All right, so the numbers are in. Did I hit my goal? I sure did. $203.85 with all the apps combined. So that was a good day. And uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Because now I get to go home, set up camp, and just chill in the back. Uh, we're not going to be eating tonight. I'm fasting. Uh, so I, I started my fast at 6 p.m. today. And um, I'm just going to get back there and watch some Netflix for a little bit. And then, you know, just relax. All right. So let's go. All right. So here we are. Uh, home sweet home. It's 75 degrees outside, which is not too bad at all. I'm probably not going to need some of the things that I'm going to show you tonight. You know, I'm going to show you how I stay cool and you know, hot summer nights. Um, but it's actually not too bad tonight. There goes Georgie right there in the semi to the right. And there's Billy over there in the semi to the left. People sleep here. The truckers sleep here all the time. Um... <laughs> Sometimes, in the beginning, I used to sleep next to the truckers. I felt safer. I used to sleep next to big campers. You know what I mean? It's almost like company, you know? But anyways, this is going to do it. All right, so we're here in one of my favorite Walmarts. I've slept here so many times I've lost count. So I just need to get organized in the car and make some room for myself back there. I need to put up my window covers. We're going to go into stealth mode, and then we're just going to chill in the lounge and have a little chat 
and uh, I'm gonna talk to you about how I stay cool in hot summer nights. Uh, even though it's not too bad tonight, 75 degrees is, is more than bearable, you know what I mean? It's, it's no problem at all, really. I got the AC going right now, that's the first tip. But um, let's get back there first. Let's use a little magic to get back there. You ready? All right, let's do this. All right, that's more like it. So we're in the lounge right now. And uh, we got the window covers up, as you can see. First things first, I'm gonna show you what I got here. So on a really hot summer's night, I have myself a fan right here, okay? It's a little plug-in fan, right? And I plug this into my Jackery like so. All right, so we just plug that in. And uh, I've got enough juice to run this thing. Um, I don't keep it on all night. I'm pretty sure it would run out of juice if I kept it on all night. But it's just for those uncomfortable situations where I just need to turn on a fan, all right? And here's the fan right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just clip it on to this handle right here. Okay, so I just clipped it onto that handle right there. And this fan turns around. See what I mean? Bam. It's got a few different speeds. But it's a nice, cool fan, and I can just position it to where I'm back here, right? And I can just position it right there. Nice, cool air. Now, I don't think I'm going to need this fan tonight, but if it was really hot, I would definitely use this puppy right here. So we're just going to turn it off for the time being. All right, another thing that I use to my advantage uh, to stay cool in the summer is my engine, right? I get the AC going. So if I'm sitting in here having my dinner or if I'm watching some Netflix or working on my laptop and it's hot outside, I'm just gonna let the AC cool the cabin up, right? And before I go to bed, I'll crank it up even more, right? Get it nice and cold in here. And then I get ready for bed, brush my teeth, turn the engine off and the car stays cool for a little while, you know? Um, now, if I was to wake up in the middle of the night and it was like unbearably hot, I still have my fan here, which I just showed you, right? I have that, and I also have my little spray bottle here, which I spray myself in the face with if it gets hot, and it just helps to cool me down, uh, especially combined with the fan blowing that cool air on me. You know, it's just a good way to cool down in the middle of the night. All right, and the last tip I have is quite simple. Are you ready for it? Okay, here it is. Strip, strip down to your underwear. I strip down to my boxers, all right? And I'm not too concerned about it because nobody can see in here. And uh, I actually quite like it, you know? In the winter, we layer up. In the summer, we strip down, right? And it's just common knowledge. So, um, it's 75 degrees out tonight, so I most likely won't even use my fan. I'm gonna turn the engine off here in just a second, and I'm gonna jump back there, stretch out, get comfortable, watch some Netflix, and get some sleep and it shouldn't be uh it, it it shouldn't be too much of a hassle tonight at all really it, it'll probably be a nice comfortable night but i just wanted to bring you guys with me to finish those deliveries to give you a few tips on how i stay cool in the summer and when there is a heat wave i'll make another video to show you what it's like in the heat of the moment literally right so that's going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.